Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is uh, Pinstar Plays Airships Conquer the Skies Part 2. So, uh, we pick up where we left off from our last episode. We are uh, taking back uh, Thulu once again. Um, and we, I, my goal is to finish up this guy, because if once we finish this nation off and, and conquer it all, we've got, basically, since nobody really wants, I mean, yeah, Sodvale might uh, come over and, and harass us, but they're less inclined to it, this giant desert, and we can kind of uh, focus our stuff down here. Either that, or I focus on hitting them, and I just, like, beef up my defenses to, uh, in Olmton to, like, crazy. Uh, in case uh, Abendis uh, wants to go out. But for right now, we got this mad scientist who took a chunk out of Sigan and is somehow siphoning money off of Norden. We cannot have that. We cannot have that. So we need to go beat him up. Attack! Attack? Okay. So, yeah, we got a couple of his stupid tentacle hentai robots here, plus his giant mad scientist tower. I don't even know what the heck that thing does, but I have a feeling it's probably pretty powerful. But first we gotta deal with the hentai robots. So, um, these guys forward, fire forward. Um, so I know we just kind of want to bomb the crap out of them. It's actually, let's reserve these two first. We're going to put them in reserve for now. We can pull them out of reserve when we're ready. But for the time being, I just want to bomb these things. What? Oh my god. That... Uh, what? What the Sam heck is that? I haven't even given you a chance to give you not under... Oh, for Pete's sake, they took out the bridge. This thing can't do anything. He's just going to sit here. Uh... At least tell me I got my ships back, yeah? Okay, so maybe we can't just whack the mad scientist. We'll have to keep him at bay until we get some better stuff. Yeesh. Well, we got some metallurgy. That's a good thing. Um, how about, how about optics? Yeah. This sounds, this sounds, uh, this sounds promising. All right, optics it is. I don't get why he's, how he's able to siphon us, but we can't just attack him straight up. All right. Um, let's just focus on our, on our buddy to the north. At least we know how to beat them. And you know what? I had an idea. I want to try and use some of their design philosophies against them. I want to try and make a lighter, more cheaper ship, but still make it super deadly. So let's design a new ship just to sort of, um, complement our design here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually do without coal at all. Um, so in order to make that happen, or a propeller, um, we're going to have a sail. Do you want a sail or a double sail? That's kind of wide, we want a single sail. So we're gonna start with a sail down there. That's gonna be our left-right movement. Um, yeah, we do need an ammo store. Hmm, maybe not that quite right away. 
Because what I really want... What I really want is... Let's see here. We're we're gonna we're gonna go with like a leaner, um, a leaner and meaner type of ship here. We're gonna get you up here, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually just make this a rifle airship. Um, yeah, we'll do here, 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 here. And uh, we'll do an ammo store up here. And then what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do here, is where is the uh, crow's nest? There we go. We want, the, we want this to be a bit more accurate. So minimum crew of seven. Probably needed a bit more, though. Um, and then for lift, we're going to actually go with suspendium. We're actually going to go with a balloon here. No, 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 we're not doing cruise stuff. We just need suspendium. There, lift. Here we go. Suspendium dust tank. Get the other end cap. Um, and then... Yeah, I think we just need some... Do we want a supply hatch? But no, we don't want the supply hatch. I just need some structural integrity. Strut. There we go. No? No good? Alright, um, then we'll do a corridor. No? Corridor with ladder? No. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's because we can't have anything uh, up above. Uh, the crow's nest literally has to be the thing on top. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, um, then we'll just keep on doing the corridor with ladder. This is one weird ship. Uh, now we do need crew. I guess one thing, you know, one thing we could do, we could do like grenades. Just whatever is in front here. And oh, what the hey, you know what? Darn it. We're going to get lots and lots of, lots and lots of rifles. It's going to be a big old line of rifles. I hope this thing works out. I've never actually tested something like this. Rifles. Rifle, rifle, rifle. Rifle, rifle. All right, that's that might be uh, overdoing it just a smidge. But, all right. Um, we do need a cockpit. Um, yeah, cockpit. And then quarters. Yeah, we can do quarters back here. We need a few more crew. Um, a berth. Yeah, we'll do a couple. We'll do a berth here. There we go. And now we just need a uh, supply hatch, which we can... Uh, What's oh, a good place to stick it? Yeah, that's a good place to stick it. Service ceiling minus thirty meters. All right, we need we need more we need more suspendium here. All right, let's go with the large suspendium. No. Hmm. Oh, because of the crow's nest, right. Well, let's get the suspendium going first, because we kind of need this thing. 
All right, 295 meters is more um, is more reasonable. Um, this is assuming that it doesn't get shot. All right. Yeah, the crow's nest, I, I want it, because these guys, I'm going to have them hanging out in the back. You know what, I don't think the grenades are really going to be worth their, worth their weight. There. Heh. <laughs> That should technically be okay. So let's see if we can make do with sails and whatnot. Um, yeah, I know we're not. Um, I mean, we could do a fire point, but we don't really have anything. Well, we do have one thing flammable. Well, that gives us exactly as much crew as we need. So yeah, all right, fine, a fire point. But I'm not giving you guys any other accoutrement. You're meant to. You're meant to stay back. All right. So let's see here. Lion piece. A little tetroid. And let's build. We'll get one of you and then we'll do a big ol' assault. And yes, I know I got armor and I and I and I have immediately started to not use it. Okay, we're here, we've got our fleet. Let's um let's go let's go invade here. We could we could use the extra income since this mad scientist is uh causing trouble with us. Alright, yeah, you just got this one thing here. So you You're just going to sit right on here. You're going to be up here. You're going to be up here. And let's start. Let's get start giving out some uh, some orders here. So you're just going to sit here and bomb the crap out of them. You are going to come a bit closer so you can be a little bit more accurate. You can come a bit closer to be more accurate. And then you are just going to come, you're going to stay behind them. Because I don't, I want this guy to be the last one to be targeting here. Yeah, here comes all the bombs. We're peppering them. Look at all these riflemen just popping them. Yeah, no crew quarters. It is just dead. Now, how'd these guys perform? Actually, probably not bad. Yeah, we'll do gentle. And you know what? We're just going to keep on moving on. We're just going to keep on invading here. Same deal, same deal. But yeah, this thing's pretty good without having to do uh, some of the others. Now, can we... Yeah, we can't give them... Like all these rifle shots, not a bad, not a bad thing here. Uh, 
There we go. You know, on these guys, they're, they're bomb bays. Probably not the most effective use of the space. I mean, I guess we could. We could uh, just go here. Hopefully my own bombs don't hit. Actually, that might be a bad thing. All right, well, no, never mind. Gentle takeover. No uh, defensive buildings, eh? Well, we did design one. Uh, the stone wall. All right, there we go. Now, uh, I have a feeling we're going to be encountering a few more defensive buildings for their capital, but I'm feeling my oats here. We can always retreat if need be. Yeah, three of them. Going to be a bit tougher. Honestly, I think I think our best approach here is just to um, go behind them um, and then bomb them from behind because they yeah they have a gun facing out the back but it's not as as prevalent. Well, they got three cannons and three cannons here. Yeah, because they, well, these guys are actually terribly positioned because they're blocking each other. So maybe a frontal assault's not the best, uh, or not the, not a bad idea, actually. Um, but first things first, we will move you down like this. All right, let's start. I think we're just gonna keep you like right up here. And you you know we're gonna put make use of your bombs too. Put you over here like this. And yeah. You can go you can stay up here. And you stay a little bit back. Oh, the fog is making it hard to see the enemy, eh? Well, alright. Right, maybe get a little bit closer. You get definitely get someone closer. Yep, see? Look how quick that fire got put out. Maybe we come further down here, the cannons can hit. Oop, then there goes... there goes mine. But hey, the, my guys are still shooting. So they're still they're still putting in work even though the, the the craft crashed they are still sitting there and still shooting uh oh crap move run that's not good Let's flee. I didn't even realize they were... Uh... Well, we got one of their towers down. Lost a couple of our guys. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, we'll 
whole movie back. Losing that bomber is uh, is going to be a little on the painful side, but at the very least, we're getting a good amount of income uh, now. Where are you going? Hey, hey, you're feeling your oats. Well, if you take them out, I'm going to... Uh... All right, let's see here. Let's build a ship. Oh, uh, let's see. Workhorse. This is one I built in an earlier test one, and you know what? I kind of like. Uh, I kind of like the workhorse. It's a little cheaper, uh, and it comes packing a cannon. Uh, but actually, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's um, let's go and let's go and redesign this thing, cause open design. Let's, um, yeah, let's do a workhorse. So this bad boy has uh, two, two riflemen and a cannon. Um, and in this case, you know what? I might even make this thing be a couple more cannons rather than the riflemen. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I, I know exactly what we're going to do. So I want to use that uh, that crow's nest as well. We're going to do a cor um, yeah, corridor with ladder. We're going to get ourselves... Let's see here. Cannons. Cannon, 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 and then one crow's nest, like so. All right, so this is going to take quite a bit of crew. Um, I probably kind of want a sick bay. Sick bay probably be a good idea. Let's let's move the hatches for the moment, because yeah, because our crew is so large. Um, Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, we need uh, we need our crew here. I could do another whole quarters, but uh, that'd be a little overkill. This thing's not uh, not very uh, much in terms of lift here. That's okay. Uh, let's see here. A birth. Yeah, there we go. Birth will give us just enough crew. All right. Oh yeah, the last thing here. Armor. Now that we've, we've researched steel armor, we can steel armor this beast up. Now this is going to make it a lot more expensive, but... All those little rifle shots that uh, come after us are not going to hurt us as much. Not nearly as much. So, yeah. Save design. Workhorse. Mark II. Alright, let's leave and build up our funds so that we can afford this beast. I think it was 1,200 or so. A couple more ticks and we'll be good. All right. Now we got here. Build ship. Workhorse Mark II. Build it. 
Finally, an armored beast. We'll just combine it with the other one. No need to scrap it. Boy, I hope that's not that that uh, that pillage there isn't completely permanent. I'm glad these things are making me good and rich. Okay. So we've got Forward March and the Workhorse uh, Mark II. Let us invade. All right, optics. No idea what these telescopes do, but if we combine metallurgy and optics, we can unlock the heavy cannon. Which sounds really awesome. All right, let's try this. Ah, oh, they're back to three again. Well, I guess they just rebuilt it. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do low and slow, um, because if we lay low, these other guys can't fire through their buddies. So what we're going to do is we're going to move you down here. Yeah, your service ceiling is really low. You're not getting above crap. I guess with all that armor on there, that's practically a... All right, so yeah, you can't that that it's so heavy it can't go above this line. So we're gonna move you here. We're gonna move you here, just so you don't get into each other's way. Oh yeah, he's got uh, grenades, doesn't he? All right, well then we're gonna get right. Oh wait, nope, nope, no, nope, no, not you, wrong, wrong person. Yeah, you can get on up here. You. So they took out our commanders. God dang it. Well, I was going to do something a little bit more advanced, but... Let's get out of here. You guys aren't doing too well. And might as well save my ships. Okay, I was wondering when they, when I was gonna get my stuff back. All right, let's get um, let's well first off, let me uh, let's see what uh, what that uh, optics did for us that telescope. Let's open our design. Let's go to our workhorse Mark II. What's the telescope do? Equipped with a telescope, sputter can direct the fire of the ship's weapon. You know, what we could do is we could, with the telescope here, along with the, um, the others here, we can we can sort of make this like a sniper. Small suspendium chamber? Nah. It doesn't need to go high. Oh yeah, we can't go above the crow's nest anyway. So this essentially is like a not as fussy crow's nest. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, save design. Mark three. We'll be building one of these. Hmm. 
Build ship, work horse mark. Oh, don't have the money for that. That telescope's kind of expensive. All right, build ship, work horse mark three. Yeah, and I think if we just keep our guys hanging out, um, like way in the back, with their with their bonuses to uh, to a hit, uh, thanks to the telescope, I think we'll do a lot better this time. Because their guns, obviously, they can't. I didn't see any spotters on them, and this time we'll have two sets of well, six cannons blasting away at them. Invade. Oop, 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 oop. Let's get that hentai robot. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yeah, that's... Fragment of iron for it. Yeah, there's not... <laughs> Freaking mad scientist. Be a thorn in my side. All right. Huh. Wonder why this service ceiling is a bit higher. Oh, it's because this guy's still crippled, isn't he? Oh, lovely. Yeah, you've got nothing on you. All right, so let's try this now. All right, you, you, we're going to use you to bomb. Because you got bombs, so you're going to bomb. All right, they're still hitting us pretty well. Let's back it up a little bit. Because we want to make use... Alright, we're taking, we're taking a few fewer hits here. We can we can win this battle nice and slow. Uh, this guy might uh, might not last for too much longer. We're gonna position you over here so if this thing if this thing goes down, I want it crushing one of these. Yep. <laughs> Spread that fire. What's your what's your deal? All right, so we're still we're running low on crew. They keep killing our guys, even though we had the. Uh, we probably could use another thing of crew on that. But as long as we've still got ammo and whatnot, out of repair tools. Ammo left, ready for a command.
Ooh, yeah. All right. Flee. We're going to have to rebuild this thing. All right. Capital buildings are a little bit uh, dicier than I uh, thought here. But this, see, this is why I'm, I'm liking this, this, this right now. Because this game, yeah, I, I came out swinging pretty hard, but I'm not, uh, I'm not really able to uh, to just go and blitz everything easily. A lot of the things I've found here is there's a lot of different ways to build your ships and they're fairly well balanced. So as far as uh, finding the magic strategy, well, I don't have that right now. Um, but more playing, more, more experimenting. Um, we, um, you know, eventually, you know, one might find a, a preferred method, but that's the fun of the game. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.